Welcome back, guys. We've got a uh, interesting box cutter folding utility knife to talk about today. This is from Rich Made uh, Knives. It's their folding utility knife. Has some instructions here, which we'll talk about. <clears throat> uh, Rich Made Knives also made the Baby Fat Bastard that I did a video on recently. Um, this is going back to the maker. When I did the video, there was some significant lock rock, as well as the pocket clip won't work in your pocket. So this is actually shipping out today. It's all going back to the owner, JD. He's going to check it out. And then this is going to get shipped in to Rich Made Knives because while there's still some lock rock, there's also lock fail now after about four or 500 flips, it became a slip joint. So when the, when I told the owner about it, um, he contacted Rich Made Knives. Richard said, literally sent him a shipping label. So as soon as the owner gets this, he will put it in a box and ship it straight to the maker who will remedy the situation and then uh, ship it back. Uh, I got to talk to JD. I think it might come back here and me do a part two on this knife. We'll see. Let me know down below. Do you guys want to see a part two of this resolved and fixed and whatnot? Um, let me know down below and we'll see what we can accomplish. So <clears throat> in the box with that knife, because Rich Made Knives shipped it directly to me when the owner bought it, they also included this rather interesting utility knife. Um, it is made of plastic of some sort. Um, I don't even think it's G10. It's, it's a plastic knife of some sort. Little key ring on here. It's not a toy. It says it's, well, let's just go through it. It's two and seven eighths closed. Overall, it is four and a half inches. <clears throat> the blade is 1.86 with a cutting edge of 1.52. Behind the edge on this razor blade is actually 0 0.008. I'd never measured or even thought about a razor blade's size before, but now you know. 1.52 inch cutting edge, 0 0.008 behind the edge. The blade thickness, as I measured here, is 0.165. The blade steel is standard razor blade. I don't know what they make them out of. Weighs in at just 0.7 ounces with an overall thickness of 0.554 here at its thickest. And it runs on just friction fit. So let's zoom in on this thing because we kind of want to talk about this. It's interesting, okay? It is a plastic knife. If you're going to use this for opening boxes, it's going to work really well because it is super sharp because it is just a razor blade in there. Um, I would recommend kind of pinching the blade here and using it like that. If you're going to break down cardboard, this is probably not the right tool. I did a little bit of that cutting and we didn't have lock fail because there is no lock, but the blade actually went that way. Um, yeah, I'll just show you a close up here before we zoom back out. It does hold two spare blades, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, if you're cutting open boxes and whatnot, you're going to want to kind of grip it with your finger and thumb. Cut open your boxes. If you're going to break down cardboard, it's not really going to work that well. I put a little bit of pressure on it and the blade pushed backwards. Um, I was able to then just kind of close it again and it reseated itself inside of the plastic. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. So there is like a little tab here on the end that you just kind of lift up 
and push the blade out. Then you can reinsert the new blade and it locks in. Coming out of the back here, it is pretty easy to get the blades in and out. It does hold them in securely. That part I do think is cool. I think it's a novelty letter opener, if you will, um, because as you get into cutting the paper or cardboard, as you get into this part here, the cardboard is going to start to catch on the frame of the blade and push apart. It's just not going to work really well. Even just cutting the paper here, it kind of starts to bind up a little bit at time. So it's super sharp because, well, it's a razor blade. I guess it could be convenient uh, as a keychain in the car as like a car razor blade. I, I'm not sure I get what the point of it is. There are other options out there. Okay. Um, in a compact razor blade. This one came to me from the Brass Brigade. Uh, he sent this up to me quite a bit ago where you're using just a standard utility blade in a compact handle that I think is going to be a stronger option. And then this gives you some utilitarian because there's a bottle opener here. There's a pry bar or a scraper here on this end. Um, that does have a cutter here because the blade protrudes through there for cutting wire or rope or something. So that is an option. My box cutting option usually is just a box cutter. I talked about this in many videos before. You got to have the right tool for the right job. Have I cut cardboard with uh, a Hellraiser? Yes. Have I cut cardboard with a spider coat? Yes. Have I broken down boxes with other um, knives? Absolutely. But a lot of times you want the right tool for the right job. And this is a novelty. And while it says it's not a toy, it kind of is a toy that's very sharp and has a real edge. But yeah, I don't know. It's a thing, I guess. So anyway, let me know down below what you think about things like this. And if you would like to see a part two on the baby fat bastard. Up in the corner, I'll put a link to the full video of this. If you want to go check that out, I would greatly appreciate your comments over there on that video. Have an excellent day and we'll see you tomorrow.